Hi, I'm Christopher Reeve. Now, I'm here to talk with you about the Ford Mobility Motoring Program. Physical disabilities come in many forms. More often than not, they come as an unexpected and unwelcome surprise. And I know personally that a disability can challenge us as we've never been challenged before. Uh, I've been in a chair for 39 years. I had peripheral neuropathy. Eventually, I'll have to get a lift. My um, son's disability, having spina bifida, he cannot uh, ambulate or walk um, like many children today. I was uh, injured in a deer hunting accident. I fell out of a tree stand. When I first had the stroke, I never thought that I would be able to drive again. Uh, during the uh, Grenada conflict, uh, I jumped in with a ranger unit and my parachute was shot up enemy ground fire and uh, burned in and broke my back on impact. I have progressive MS. It seems to be marching through my body pretty quickly. Well, in 1980, I was involved in a motorcycle accident that um, I got paralysis from uh, the mid part of my back. Uh, I have spina bifida. It's a birth defect, and it affects the lower half of your body, basically. I believe that all of us who are disabled can find ways to meet these unexpected and unwelcome personal challenges. At the very least, I think we must follow life's paths with high hopes, a positive outlook, and unflagging self-esteem. Hundreds of thousands of Americans are meeting the challenges of their physical disabilities due in no small measure to enlightened legislation and advanced technology. We're discovering a world where access and mobility help open the doors to personal satisfaction and give us access to many of life's opportunities. I would be a prisoner in my own home if I did not have my Windstar and if I could not get out and be independent. I have always been an independent person and uh, I just can't imagine it. When I was out in the sailboat, and periodically would glance back at the dock and see my scooter there. It made me realize in some ways that I forgot I came out in the scooter, that I was free to do things that I used to do when I was younger and haven't been able to do for a long time. The fact that I'm able to get out and play tennis or basketball or go camping with my Girl Scouts, it keeps me healthy, it keeps me active, it keeps me moving. Our dog is a champion boxer and uh, she goes to shows and the vehicle gives me a chance to be able to go out and do these things with the dog and be uh, part of it. Abraham wants to become more independent. Um, to, to uh, go to school, to go back to university, to go back to work. If I had no um, van or anything to get me around, I think it would be pretty, a pretty boring life. Um, because I do count on that for everything, you know, as far as going out with my friends, you know, getting to doctor's appointments, you know, or going out to, you know, the, the wheelchair hockey league jump in a van and take my friends some places is, I think that's the coolest thing about my van. The independence is everything. I'm in the car, I'm sitting up just like everybody else is, and I'm participating actively. It lets me still participate in the kids' activities at school because I can get there. It allows us to do anything. Mobility provides the opportunity for an individual to have control, once again, 
over that individual's destiny to be the director of their life. Thanks to the automobile, adaptive equipment, and programs like Mobility Motor. You know, getting out and about isn't nearly as difficult as it used to be. It's really a way of continuing to have an enhanced quality of life. Uh, today, a handicapped person that can hardly feed himself is now able to drive with the modern technology. As your confidence builds in it, you start to feel, uh, yeah, this is something that I can do. I can, I can, I can get along. I can drive myself, uh, and you feel safer. You feel in control. The use of a mobility device or any type of device that is going to um, add to your experiences in life is in no way a negative experience. Um, it is in no way to say that uh, somehow your disability has defeated you. There would be no color, no aesthetics, no beauty in my life. These individuals are able to, to notice that the, their world is not so small. The world has got many possibilities. And that through this, basically, they can pursue goals that they never thought that they could ever pursue. Uh, it gives me control over my life, my schedule. I don't have to. Uh, wait for someone to be, to be able to take me somewhere if I want to go. Uh, I have a lot of things that I like to do. I like to go bird watching. I like to um, go antiquing. It's part of being a whole person. Well, it's important for me to be independent because I can do more things and without staying home all day. I would hope of the kids who are in the same situation as I am so that they can get a lift to go different places just like me. You know, my life isn't much different than that of any other person who you know, has a physical disability. There are ups and there are downs. There's times when things make sense, times when they don't. But I've discovered that life's always an adventure. Just if you live for yourself, your family, and for others. And now, here's my story. Following my accident, I, I went zero miles an hour because I was in a bed in ICU. Uh, then didn't go anywhere for a month. And then uh, I was transported by jet to rehab center. But I was totally unconscious while that was happening. I went from lying flat in bed to being pushed around in a wheelchair to be able to drive myself in a wheelchair. One of the best things you can do for yourself is to find out how can I um, offset being paralyzed. Now, if the body doesn't move itself, the next best thing is to take it places. And that means getting out into the community and living as normal a life as possible. Now, when I, when I wore the red cape, uh, I was um, 25, and uh, when I put on that costume, I was dangerous to myself and others, because uh, I was so into it. I thought that if they cut the wires, It'd be no problem, I just keep going. I've been in the public eye before the accident, as well as after. I said, okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to encourage other people who may be afraid to go out, uh, who may think it's too difficult to go out, uh, or just they may be too depressed to go out, uh, is to say, get in the van and go someplace because it's very good. It's really essential. So once you have mobility motoring, um, it really changes your whole world. Because suddenly, nothing's off limits. The Ford van that I have, which has been, you know, custom, uh, got fit for my size and the ventilator and all. So, the van actually is 
such a great friend, so reliable. And I always run on time. Uh, and when it's time to go, we go. I load the car. And then we can leave when we want to leave. And make meetings, make, make it in time for events and speeches. That's really, really important. For example, uh, uh, to go to a hotel at a big dinner and to give an award to my friend Robin Williams, which I had set up the previous January, a few months uh, before my accident. Being able to keep that appointment, and being able to be there for that dinner meant so much. And to be able to basically get around as I used to get around. That's huge. That's really huge. I mean, Ford, as maker, made a real commitment to people with disabilities and their mobility motoring program. Uh, I think the benefit to society of, of a company like that who, uh, would say, wait a minute, there are a lot of people out there you know, who have the right to get around the other guys who have the right to be able to go to work, who have the right, you know, to even drive a car. And that's huge. Although the Ford Mobility Motoring Program does provide various levels of financial assistance, or the cost of installing adaptive equipment. It's really much more than just that because Ford Mobility Motoring pulls together all the information and know-how necessary for a great fit between a vehicle, its adaptive equipment, and a person with a physical disability, either as a driver or someone who's just being transported just like me. In the driver's evaluation, therapists will evaluate an individual's reflexes, coordination, muscle function, perceptual abilities, and will then assess the proper equipment. But the actual act of getting in the vehicle is where it really happens. So when I look in my eye check mirror, and I see tears streaming in someone's eyes, it's usually, most of the time, tears of, of gratitude for the ability to become mobile again and not feel disabled. Am I doing this well enough? Am I stopping fast enough? Am I gonna pass this assessment and, and be able to drive? When they told me that I could drive again, I was just excited to be able to think about this again. And being on my own or being able to do this was just, Wonderful. Getting my wheelchair into my Windstar is a piece of cake. Uh, all I have to do is push a button down, ride on the lift, hop off, push the button up, raises the wheelchair, tie it in with a buckle, and we're good to go. I love the looks of my pickup uh, and the the reaction I get from other people, how they cannot believe that I'm driving a pickup, and what guy doesn't love having a pickup. You can go from one place to another using your little Ford vehicle, which the Ford Focus has been a tremendous impact on our lives since we're able to do many, many things we were not able to do before. The Ford Mobility Program is, is one of the best I've seen in, in, in any of the manufacturers. Ford takes a more uh, hands-on and uh, personal interest in the individuals in making sure that they're getting the right type of vehicle for the right type of disabilities. Ford Mobility Motoring provides an important link and it's a really valuable resource. You get some assistance financially for purchasing adaptive equipment with the program. But what's just as important, Ford provides information on where to find adaptive equipment suppliers and vehicles and, and 
there are also other parts of this program that assist the, the motorist who has a disability. When a consumer calls in the 800 number, they get an information packet from Ford, and it's specific to their state, and it lists the modifiers in that package, but another important factor is that it identifies the NAMIDA members within their state. With the help of mobility motoring, it lets people know that they don't have to stay at home just because they have a disability with a ramp and a lift on a van um, that makes it possible that you can go out and do just about anything anybody else can. We can go places as a group. We all fit in the Windstar together. All of our junk that we take with us fits in. We can go as a family, we can come back as a family. The awesome responsibility that the modifiers in this industry share is to make sure that the consumer has the right equipment, the right vehicle, and is out on the road in a safe manner. We're very proud of Ford and the assistance. If you have a question, they're right there to answer your questions for you. As a person with a disability, I run into a lot of people with disabilities and other special needs, and this program has given them all an opportunity to get out and be active and live their lives. The Ford Mobility Motoring Program has helped dealers to sell and service the wide variety of Ford Motor Company cars, trucks, vans, and SUVs understand that people with disabilities are just that, people with disabilities. The major problem with folks in the handicap scenario is finance and the money and the cost of getting the adaptive equipment. Without Ford's assistance, most of these folks wouldn't be able to purchase a vehicle, wouldn't be able to go and do what we do and take for granted on a daily basis. The vehicles are very easy to adapt, uh, whether it's an SUV, uh, the vans, even with the smaller cars uh, in Ford line, they're all very accessible and adaptable. The, the 1-800 number I called, I mean, they got the paperwork out to me right away. They, they were very helpful. And uh, uh, I, I can't say enough about the company and what they've done for me and how enthusiastic it's, it's made me because it has really changed my life. I mean, I can't emphasize that enough. It has changed my life. In their eyes, I'm not a second-class citizen. I'm so pleased. I couldn't be any happier. Um, the fact that the lift was specified to my son, uh, to the needs of his particular chair, um, the fact that they offer various programs, they made it very easy geographically to get to those programs. Um, Ford made the package very concise so that uh, individuals like myself could use it to the greatest extent possible. I truly believe that every person with a physical disability can play the hand that they've been dealt in the game of life. And Ford Mobility Motoring can help make that game more interesting, more rewarding, and certainly a lot more fun. The Ford Mobility Motoring Program demonstrates uh, the respect that the company has for an individual, even a company the size of Ford, still respects the individual and tries to go the extra mile to uh, make life easier, make my life easier. All you have to do is see that person get behind the wheel the first time after an injury and see their face. And there's no explaining the feeling that you get from that. We're very grateful to Ford and the Mobility Program for helping us establish this new way of life that we have. I love my van very much. Thank you very much. I'd like to thank the Ford Motor Company for letting me um, do all these things that I've been doing. It's a lot easier now. Freedom is everything, and driving is the ultimate independence. The Ford Mobility Motoring Program, as far as I'm concerned, is the only way to go. I give it a 10. I'm Christopher Reeve.
Thanks to Mobility Motoring, and I'll see you out on the road. Ford Mobility Motoring offers financial assistance to help pay for vehicle modifications and valuable information about driver assessment centers and modifier resources. Favorable extended term Ford Credit Mobility financing is also available to qualified purchasers. For more information on the freedom and independence that can be achieved with Ford Mobility Motoring, please call 1-800-952-2248. Persons with hearing impairments may call 1-800-833-0312 or visit your Ford or Lincoln Mercury dealer for complete program details. You may also visit us on the World Wide Web at www.mobilitymotoringprogram.com. Ford Motor Company wishes to express their sincere thanks to the individuals and organizations that contributed to this presentation.